And welcome everyone to another episode of Ted Talk Stamps. I am Ted the Talking Stamp Collector. And today I'll be looking at some viewer mail which is backed up over the past several months. I've been lax in acknowledging my mail. So let me take care of that. And on a similar note, I also need to acknowledge my financial supporters who have bought me coffee and who make uh, ongoing contributions on PayPal. I won't give their full names because I haven't gotten their permission to, to use them. So let me take the time right now to thank Karen, Scott, Theodore, Richard, Philippa, Paul, John, and for his continuing contributions on PayPal, another Scott. So thank you all very much. I appreciate your support. So this time I have two viewers, one with a top 10 and one who sent me a video clip of his favorite stamp. And I will start with that. This is Lawrence Fisher from the YouTube channel, The Stories Behind the Stamps. And he's here to tell you about his favorite stamp. Hi all, my name is Lawrence from Stories Behind the Stamps channel. Today I'm gonna to tell you about my favorite stamp. It's not the stamp, but the stamp. Now, what is the story behind it, which is what my blog is all about? During the Second World War, the Nazis wanted to bring down British morale and at the same time blame the Jews for the war. So they took a bunch of uh, master forgers in the concentration camp uh, known as Sachsenhausen and they told them to prepare a parody on the stamp and make it as if it was they were going to blame the Jews. And you can see there, this war is a Jewish war. <clears throat> anyway, there's a lot more to say about this stamp, and you can watch about it on my own channel. And I'll say thank you to everyone, and thank you, Ted, for having me. And take care. Bye. All right, thank you, Lawrence. And I've left a link to Lawrence's uh, YouTube channel in the description below. When you're done watching here, go ahead and check out his channel. So on to viewer mail. My first item here is a really neat first day cover created by, whoops there, created by Zach Burke by the LinoCut printing process. LinoCut is a type of engraved printing where the design is etched into a block of linoleum and printed like a recessed printed stamp, really. Well, except unlike a engraved stamp on the, on the lino cut, it's the raised portions of the design that get printed. And I've included a link to a, um, a lino cut video in the description so you could uh, watch it and get a better idea of what this is all about. Anyways, uh, Zach saw my video where I mentioned the, uh, I had a top 10 of U.S. stamps, and I mentioned the U.S. Submarines uh, prestige booklet. And this is a first aid cover that he made back in the year 2000. And it is actually a, a uh, signed and numbered edition. It is, this is number six of 20 that he made. And I really like that and I really appreciate that, Zach. And thanks for sending that in. And next from Peter in Smetherwick, West Midlands. He sent me this uh, set of Great Britain Olympic stamps from 1948. And while he didn't directly challenge me, he did suggest that this would make a good research challenge. So I have put that on my to-do list and I will research the subject matter of the 1948 Olympics and I will make a video of that. So thank you, Peter. Next from Chris from New York or New Jersey, 
you know, depending on which address he wants to use at any one particular time. Chris has been collecting a lot of uh, uh, the coil stamps. And he decorated this cover with some of them. And he's been sharing his extras with me. I've got these the flowers, uh, the, a flag coil, and this one he particularly liked. Actually, there's three different designs of these. You can see that. So thank you very much, Chris. Then from Adrian in New South Wales, he sent a letter and some stamps, some Aussie stamps. Oops, sent a nice selection. <laughs> he sent a nice selection of Australian stamps for me. And he says, thanks for the invaluable videos and the countless hours of entertainment. I'm a collector from Sydney and pretty new to the hobby. I'm still finding my niches and so far I collect worldwide. Engraved national scenery, birds, and any stamp with a cool history related to it. I've included some gifts, including a row of literature stamps from Oz, such as the Henry Lawson def uh, definitive, Waltzing Matilda strip, Waltzing Matilda strip as well. <laughs> Waltzing Matilda strip, as well as some older stamps I hope you like. And here's a strip of uh, stamps featuring scenes from The Man from Snowy River. Really cool. I like that. Thank you very much. And then from Peter in, Port in Portage, Indiana, Peter sent me this cover knowing that I collect classical music on stamps. He sent me this cover with two uh, Polish stamps featuring Frederick Chopin. And thank you, Peter. Next comes this postcard. Stand with Ukraine. This comes from Rovich, I'm 12 years old and recently got into writing letters and sending them via mail. I recently heard about you from Graham Beck. Thanks, Graham. I checked out your channel and got hooked. I'm planning on collecting stamps because... Be I am planning on collecting stamps because Graham has inspired me to. Thanks again, Graham. I made this postcard to support Ukraine in these times. I hope you like it. And I do indeed like it because I stand with Ukraine. So thank you very much. And then last, remember Ace Thomas, right? I've showed the literature, <coughs> I showed you the literature stamps he sent me in the past and he's written me a couple more times uh, sending me a first day cover with Edgar Allan Poe on it. And a stamp from Central African Republican Republic. <laughs> Central African Re Central African Republic honoring mm, Jules Verne. Thank you very much, Ace. And on top of that, he sent me his top 10 list of U.S. stamps. And I am going to close this program now with Ace's top 10 U.S. stamps. Stick around. And thanks for joining me again. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I forgot Ace also included a question in his letter. He said, where did you get your postal scale? Well, 
didn't know anybody had seen it and wondered about it, but this is the postal scale I use. And I just bought it recently. It is a E-Tech City, E-T-E-K City, that I bought off of Amazon. And I really like it because it goes to 11 pounds. It will weigh down to one, it will weigh as little as one gram and up to 11 pounds, which is very handy because I also sell books, as you recall. <laughs> so, I, it's a pretty good scale. I really like it. So, on with the top 10 show. <laughs> 